Let's go into it, Frank, if we can, a little bit more, because Les disagrees with me what I keep saying. I like the Pittsburgh Steelers, and you said you mm -hmm. kind of like them too, but I, uh, I think the Ravens are up there and, and, and the Colts, and I ask you if you would to uh, kind of give us what your grade was for three or four of the top teams. Sure. I, I had the Colts as my top grade because, you know, I'm not saying that Andre Johnson is the 2007 Andre Johnson. I'm not saying Frank Gore is the same guy who is the 49ers all-time leading rusher. But these guys can still play. I mean, they are still good veterans who can give them a year or two, and that's all they need. They don't, you know, they're not looking for these guys to be great in 2020. They're, they're trying to win a Super Bowl right now with Andrew Luck still making not much money. Love what the Colts did. A lot of great veterans. The, the Steelers didn't do much this offseason, but the Steelers were really good by the end of last year. I would forget because they lost in the playoffs. But they lost in the playoffs because Le'Veon Bell was hurt. I mean, that's. I think that they win that game. I honestly think they would have beat the Broncos had they come to Denver. I really like the Steelers. The Patriots have lost something, but you know what? They're the Patriots. They're going to be good. We all know they're good. Hey, we, for, we haven't even talked about Miami, Buffalo. I, I mean, teams who did a lot in this offseason. I, I had a high grade on Miami because they got Sue. High grade on Buffalo because of all the guys they got. The AFC's really getting better. It's a lot deeper, I think, than it was a year, easily, year two or three ago.